G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online. Badman Hollows is where we are. Let's go have a little look. So they're having a little bit of fun down below. Curator Nicholas. Oh, we got a little portal over there. What a beautiful day. We couldn't have asked for better weather for the festival. Well, it's night time, but yes. Welcome to the Harvest Festival. Is this your first visit to Badman's Hollows? Badman's Hollows? The Badman is one of the old gods, the source of all strife and the god of crop failure. According to local tradition, appeasing him will ensure a good harvest. Superstitious nonsense, but an excellent excuse for a festival. How do you appease the Badman? First, we gather baskets of fresh apples and bags of hardy grain. Then we burn them on the sacrificial altar in his honor. After that comes the feast. Help us gather the offering and I'll see that you get a seat of honor. Well, that sounds like a fair trade. May our humble offerings bring Sheor's mercy upon us. Then we feast. Sheor? Do you really believe this offering will bring a good harvest? Like I said before, it's probably just superstition. But as my great uncle Nicodemus used to say, it couldn't hurt. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so let's go collect some grain. Find a couple of apples. It says collect two apples, and there's like a thousand in there. Collect grain, just a single grain. A single grain will do. Reva? They can sacrifice all the apples and grain they want. Just tell them to keep their hands off the wine. Oh. <laughs> I think you've drunk it all already. Place the offerings. No Amel? An outsider, are you? You're in for a few surprises before the day is out, I'll wager. Am I? Watch the ceremony. Brothers and sisters, the newcomer has made an offering to the bad man. Join with me in celebration. Up in smoke. Bad man, stern hand of the harvest, master of blight and plenty. Accept this gift. Feed and grow stronger. May his hunger never be sated. May his roots grow ever deeper. All right, job done. Well done. As a final step, you must scatter dirt on the fire. Why dirt? According to the legend, just as our crops feed on the soil of the hollows, so too will the bad man feed. Also, it's a tradition. Humorous. Okay. Probably a good idea to put that fire out too. It's right next to a tree. <laughs> I might have thrown it a little bit too hard. Search the tunnels. I entered a secluded grove near Daggerfall Harbor called Badman's Hollows. The people here are engaged in a festival honoring the Badman, an ancient harvest god. The sacrificial fire engulfed me, and I was transported into a series of strange tunnels. I think I'm underneath the tree. The tunnels are littered with scavengers and the dead. Oh, they certainly are. All the bones. How the hell do I get back up? You're not one of them. Please, you must help me. What's going on? Where am I? Uh, help me get free of these roots. Then I'll explain everything. Why don't you explain now? Self-preservation. Roots first, then answers. Now, what can I do? The dead shock over there. I killed it before these roots grabbed me. Cut out its fire gland, then use it to burn away these roots. Hurry! I'm not the only one stuck here. Shock gland? 
disconcertingly squishy, potentially flammable. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's not just burning the vines. That's burning everything within as well. Lucky you came along when you did. We've got a lot of work to do. I was at the Harvest Festival. How did I get here? That was no Harvest Festival. Those people are Daedra worshippers, and we're in terrible danger. We need to get out of these tunnels. Is there a way out of here? We're directly beneath the tree. Except it's not a tree. It's a minor Daedric Lord. The tree's roots are the key. He channels dark energy through them to keep this pocket of oblivion from collapsing upon itself. Destroying the roots will hurt him. How can I destroy the roots? The same way you freed me. Use Shocklands to burn the roots in these caverns. That should weaken him. I'll work on planning our escape. Once you've burned the roots, come and find me. Okay. Roots. Let's have a look at the roots. Uh, so there's some bosses here. Bosses everywhere. It's pointing me in this direction. There's a bunch of insane sacrifices here. How do we know she's not going to go insane as well? Skit of flame. Win to win. You there. You don't look like an abomination against the divines. Finver. Fascinating. The roots do not consume you. Well, that may prove useful. And you are? The name is Finvir. I was part of the circle of mages that summoned the Dramora Lord now posing as the bad man. I can help keep his power in check, but I'll need your help. What do you need? The Dramora killed many of my circle. Their undead bones wander these tunnels, clutching the gems we used in the ceremony. Bring me some of them. If the Dramora is banished, I can use them to prevent him from ever returning to this realm. Consider it done. Ceremonial gems? Okay. Oh, we certainly got one. Dead Conjurer. The gem feels unusually heavy for its size. Bloat gut. Does hit a little bit harder than what we're used to. But that's fine. Battle axe of the weird tree. Thirteen oh five. It's a big upgrade. Uh, okay, so we'll change our bite. Cannot be equipped in that slot. Oh, is it a two-hand? Oh, it's a two-hander. Oh, damn. Okay. Beautiful burn the roots. I look for number four. Uh, we also need one more gem. This is a bit of a nightmare to navigate, isn't it? Let's 
So many different paths. Return to Finvir. Alright, I've got the gems. Well, is it done? Here they are. Well done. Once banished, the Dramora will never be able to return to Nern. Thank you for your assistance. I hope this ritual will somehow make amends for my part in this whole sordid affair. I hope so. Farewell, friend. I'll be sure the ritual goes properly next time. Probably as in... Not, not something making me come down here. Oh, what do I get? Werewolf hide, inferno staff. Just drop by at the right time. There is a portal over here. A lot of people down here. Evelyn? Gods, I can't stand all this mud. I feel like a filthy Argonian. Okay, I'm still working on the... the shocks. To find one more? Oh, there's a sky shot over here. Hello, Sky Shard. Well, now I've dropped down a few levels. How the hell do I get back up? Don't drink my beers, compared. What? <laughs> Who are these people? Oh, that's a big snake. Oh, crap. That's a big snake. That's a snake mother. That was a snake mother. A bad man's group event. Wow, that was over so quickly. Guess that person must be pretty powerful. Alright, we got the last land. Now I just gotta find one more route. Hopefully not get eaten. Land on that rat. Done. Talk to Evelyn Vet. You got his attention. I can feel his energy shifting. He's angry. I sure hope so. I've been burning his roots. You've definitely got his attention. Now we need to take the fight to him. Here are the shock lands I collected. We need to find a way to feed them to the Dramora directly. Curator Nicholas said that the items we burned on the altar were fed to the bad man. Nicholas lived? Traitorous lying bastard. He was part of our circle. If he's alive, he made a deal with the Dramora. You may be right. The altar may be the answer. We must get you back to the Glen. Portals to the bad man hollows. Defeat the bad man. We were wrong. He is angry. Curator Nicholas. So much death. What happened here? You live? Of course. His anger came after you were consumed in flame. Anger? 
Soon after you were sacrificed, the bad man became enraged. He, he turned on us, rained death upon the grove. It was consumed in fire. And now you return. What did you do? I burned the roots below using these shock lands. Of course! That may be the only way to defeat him. Quickly now, burn the shock lands at his altar. He'll be forced to consume them, and they'll burn him from the inside out. You must hurry. It's our only chance. He's laid waste. You dare to oppose me? I do, bad man. Some of this. A little bit of that. Oh, jeez. Slice and dice. I felt it. A shift in the planes. Is it done? The bad man is no more. We should leave this place. With the Daedra banished, the Glen will collapse in upon itself. Thank you for all you've done. Um, I hope you'll have the good taste to not mention that I was involved in all this. Don't worry, I've learned my lesson. Conjuring Daedra that powerful is a risky proposition. Next time I'll have thrice the number of apprentices and soldiers. Don't conjure Daedra. Silly, silly Avalon. Alright, to Glenumbra. Now, uh, we... I suppose it's time to travel... North? Seeing as we've done a, f a fair bit down here. Covered all this. Warning to the Outmary Dominion. Something else. I want to be looking at these quests. Okay, so we go to Baleborn, Rock Way Shrine, and get that quest out to delve. Two of 24 at the moment. I've also got to claim my rewards for hitting level 20. Jeez. <laughs> Hopping out of there. Oh man, we got three points for hitting level 20. Nice. Okay. Commit the points. Yes. Stamina 25 now. Uh, we got four points to spend. So, what should I go for? Strife. Strife might be good. Still an enemy's life force, dealing 3,900 damage. Magic damage and healing you for 50% of the damage inflicted. Uh, I do need... I mean, I got my blood thirst, but I feel like I need another way of healing. Let's see what's in bow. Nothing there yet, we still gotta work on that. Uh, Wind Walker. Increased stamina recovery. Can get the ultimate now. Some bread skills. Always good to have those passives. That spell achievement increases your spell resistance. Uh, increase your max magicka, why not? Which leaves me with just one point left. And while I would like to start siphoning, Restores 500 magic and stamina when you kill an enemy. When an enemy dies within two seconds of being damaged by you. Blur. Surround yourself in a phantasmic aura to gain major evasion, reducing damage from area attacks. Okay. Oh, hang on. Is that only area attacks? From area attacks by 20%. When active, taking direct damage reduces the cost of your roll. 
up to a maximum of 100%. So maximum major evasion only reduces damage from eerie attacks. Not direct damage or anything. Like you don't dodge, you don't move, you don't blur. I guess it's a magical thing. Slash an enemy dealing 5,900 magic damage. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to sit on that one for a bit. I'd rather just work with the abilities I got right now. And then maybe once I get some more for bow, throw it in that. This isn't Ethel. what I had hoped for. Ethel Baleborn. Nothing like finding out that the family estate you inherited is nothing but a pile of ruins. And here I thought my life was finally taking a turn for the better. What do you mean? I just found out that this land belongs to me. You see, my father recently passed away. I was reading his journals and learned of this place. I wasn't sure why he kept it a secret until I got here. What did you find out? This place is haunted. It makes my skin crawl just getting near the damn place. There are imps everywhere, and the whispers, they threaten me, warn me to stay away. But this is my land now. No bodiless voice is going to make me leave. Maybe I can find out what's going on. A Baleborn always pays for services rendered. This place might look like a ruin to you, but it's a part of my family. It's all I have left. Okay, where should I begin? Search the ruins. See if you can find a ghost wandering around, or wailing, or rattling chains, or doing whatever ghosts do. Do you think I should hire a priest to perform some kind of ritual? Owning a haunted estate is all rather new to me. I can handle it. But why didn't you send your guards in? Damn ghosts won't let them in! Why else would I be standing out here? Do you know what the spirit wants? That's like asking me why my father Maurice was such a bastard. There are things we aren't meant to know. When the voice whispered to me, it said that the land was no longer mine. Got any idea what that means? According to my father's journal, this property has belonged to my family for centuries. But Maurice was also a lying bastard whose death was long overdue. He was known for only telling half the story. Ah. Stolen land, eh? Um, alright, well that's not taking me to the delve. Uh, and there is a quest there, but we'll do this one first. Folks, hope you're enjoying the, uh, series here, this Elder Scrolls Online playthrough. If you are, do me a favor and hit that like button. If it's your first time here, consider hitting the subscribe button for future content. There's a whole bunch of Elder Scrolls Online stuff on this channel. And, uh, when the gold road opens up, we definitely will be doing that as well. So look out for that. Claudie's journal. A journal written by Claudie Themond. Hand in hand, we snuck through the gardens and sat on a bench beneath the moon. The way he looked at me sent shivers down my spine. Our love is forbidden. Still, we care for each other deeply. He plans to tell his parents of our love soon. I've returned, my love. I missed you so much. Claudie's journal. I can't help but feel that my Lord Maurice is interested in me for more than my duties as a servant. He glanced at me several times these past weeks as I brought dinner to the table or poured the wine. He just smiles and looks into my eyes like I'm an equal. Not as if I were a young woman merely there to refill his flagon or clear away the dirty dishes, but as someone he might actually be interested in. I don't know what to think of it. I'm probably just imagining it. Dreaming about what life would be like if I didn't have to serve and clean every day. It's a dream, but I can hope that it comes true, can't I? I wasn't imagining things. Tonight in the hallway, Lord Maurice pulled me aside. He asked me if I was married, if I had a family. Speechless would be a good word for my reaction. He's so... What's the word I'm looking for? Kind? Different? His father and mother beat me repeatedly for simple transgressions. But their son isn't like that. He's so nice. I'm still having a difficult time believing it. He wants to see me again. Alone. I'm not sure what to think about all this. Lord Maurice came to me again. He said he wanted to tell me something. He took my hand and led me off into the night. Hand in hand, we snuck through the gardens and sat on a bench beneath the moons. The way he looked at me sent shivers down my spine. Our love is forbidden. 
A rich noble man like him and me, a simple servant, still, we care for each other deeply. He plans to tell his parents of our love soon. I hope that goes well. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... It's gonna get it's gonna get worse and worse, right? And I get worse and worse. Broken necklace, an expensive necklace, now cracked and scuffed. Maurice, what is this? It's beautiful. My mother's necklace. She gave it to me. Told me to give it to the woman who would who would become my wife. Is this? Is this what I think it means? Oh, Maurice, this is the happiest day of my life. And then the rubble above. Bloodstained tunic. This bloodstained shirt has a vicious slash across the back, as though it was made by a whip. I didn't steal your necklace, my lady. I swear to you. Your son gave it to me. Maurice, please tell her. Silence! My son would never give my necklace to a lowly serving girl. I don't know which is worse your lies or your thieving fingers. Maurice, please tell her of our love. The time we've spent together. Why won't you say anything? I'm sure she didn't mean to steal it. She's been working awfully hard. Perhaps exhaustion. Enough! I'll hear no more excuses. Punish her with the whip, and then lock her in the tower. Damn, Maurice! Come on, dude. I mean, your mum's got an axe, and it's a two-handed axe. So I get it, but still, come on, dude. This guy. What a piece of work. Claudie's last entry. I imagine that's Claudie. I never told Maurice. I was waiting to surprise him. After the family accepted our love and blessed blessed our union. But that never happened. And Maurice never found out about our baby. Now he'll never know. I can't believe what a coward he turned out to be. He couldn't stand up to his mother, not even to save the life of the woman he loved. Instead, he didn't say a word and left me in this tower to rot. I never should have trusted a bailborn. Thought about calling the guards and telling them the truth, but I don't want my child to grow up to be a bailborn. I won't allow that. I'm dying. I pray to any who hear my plea. I, I don't expect an answer, but I want our deaths to be avenged somehow, some way. I'll make the bailborns pay. Ah, oh, man. All right. Let's go tell Ethel. All these imps everywhere. Let's see what he's got to say. On, if you're gonna have a shot of a title, come on down. Done. 